Hey there, everybody. Arlo's here, and <laughs> Nessa from uh, Ice Games bringing you episode uh, 13 of our Guild Wars 2 uh, Let's Play Together Mesmer Let's Play series, which is uh, pretty good, I think. Wait, someone said hey, hey. <laughs> Who said hey, hey? I don't know. Some, some NBC said hey, hey, right? Um, I was looking at the screen for a second. Carry on, I'm just gonna find <laughs> apparently someone apparently someone's talking to you. <laughs> but yeah, uh we're doing episode there's a dope oh there's like an event or something there going on. This but, thingy, uh, this this oh, thing. thing. Oh, it's a script. I saw in a cave a leaf lady and a grass wolf. They're big, very big, and angry help. Oh, this will do an uh an event thing, so yeah, I don't want to do this. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. sorry, got distracted. Yeah, sorry, it's just sorry, weird sorry. He's like in a tree kind of a thing. Oh, oh. Careful, that's like a, yeah, it's a an event thing, so we'll deal that for later. But yeah, we're episode 13, uh, in the middle of the, what is it, level 20 story, which is pretty awesome. Kind of excited to see how this goes. Uh, what happened last episode, do you remember? The Harbinger? Yeah, that, uh... Well, that... the very suspicious guy who's of our kind, but doesn't know the dream or yeah, <laughs> like anything that so <laughs> that if you were Solvari, I say that right. Yeah, uh, you would know things about that. Yeah, and he's kind of like uh, the, the the Nightmare Court's calling him the Harbinger. Mm -hmm. Also put out fires. But he seems nice, so it doesn't seem like he's evil. But I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I guess I remember his name's Malik. 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 Yeah. Sorry, Malik. Sorry, Is it Malik, Malik or Malik? Malik. Malik. Oh, maybe Malik. it's Malik. I can't yeah, remember. Malik. But yeah, so we're in the middle of that, so we need to go do that call, I guess the mission's called an Unknown Soul, okay. which I didn't realize um, that this mission is actually based off, if you go to your hero panel for a second. Oh, uh... Yeah, uh, and you go to My Story, and the Story Journal, and then My Story, out there. Uh, oh, and then uh, I'm... I'm I'm who? No, the top one. That one. I'm Charlie. This is based off of... Uh, oh, one of her it? choices? Yeah. Not the Shield of the Moon. So the Shield of the Moon was the first one we did, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. And this one's based off the second one. So oh, okay. where life goes, so too shall you. So I thought it was interesting because I was looking up the, the name for the title of the video last time. I picked the same thing as you. So we're doing the same quest. Uh, so I thought, like, I, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I know what's going on a little bit. But if you picked a different uh, option, we'd be doing a completely different quest. I didn't realize the second choice is also part of uh, that story quest, which is kind of cool. Whoa. So there's way more branching paths you can do uh, mm -hmm. in Guild Wars 2 than I originally. I'm excited for that. I forgot about these. Yeah. Uh, that's neat. I, I, I actually completely forgot about the decisions I made. So yeah. that's cool. You have somewhere you can access at any point in time to just familiarize yourself with... Uh, like what your motivations are, yeah. I guess, right? And so, even when you eventually start going through like the other, like the the um, living worlds and stuff like that, it'll mm -hmm. it'll kind of recap the story too on the, this page. Okay. If you're ever missing something, it's kind of fun. So I also picked Cycle of Dusk and Dignity. So yeah. just for my sake of remembering, <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty awesome. So yeah, kind of excited to see uh, what other adventures this can go. And I kind of want to almost like I want to jump in and start a new one. Savari and other races to see what the other choices mean. Be kind of cool. So, um, so yeah, what we need to do now is yeah, head back to the grove. Not uh, this thingy here, sorry? Uh, that's just pointing you out of the map. Hmm. And if you go scroll all the way down the grove, your little thing, yeah, it'll oh. be down there. Yeah, just, it, um, one will point you to the nearest exit in the map, and then if you scroll out, it'll take you right there. Yep. Oh, I see. Uh, so while you find that point of interest, I'll let you find it. <gasps> yeah. Okay. So I'll try again this time. So <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, we're, uh, I just gonna read the comments because Aphonic mentioned it. So Aphonic oh. said, uh, "The grove has three levels to explore. Uh, sometimes the markers uh, that tell you where to go can glitch. A lot of new Silvari players have trouble navigating the city." Oh, also good. It's not just me. Not okay. Just you. <laughs> uh, I'll also explain. So the grove has three waypoints right on top of each other. So the three waypoints that are like right beside, literally on top of each other. 
Ooh, whoopsie! <laughs> Game designers, somebody needed to change the color of something. I think for that possibly. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, he also mentioned it's a good idea to do the, to do the map completion of it. Oh, because it's really quick or something like that. This is something we can do later after we're done. Uh, uh, this so one, yeah, we're literally story, in the midst yeah. of something. But yeah, we could do that right after then if that makes. Um, Aphonic also mentioned that if you find yourself having uh, that much trouble fighting large groups, mm -hmm. uh, you can switch back to your great sword because it takes down enemies pretty fast. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm still using my staff and my torch, and I said I was going to switch it up more often. So maybe yeah. uh, after well, we've done this... Well, you do have uh, the ability to switch weapons right now. Oh. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Uh, your Z key. I've seen much. Is that the sword now? Uh, that's a sword and something. What I saw in the mist. Um... Oh, focus. Sword and focus. And okay. if you were a hero panel, you could put that a great sword there. You, you could do that. I also said uh, you'll be hitting level 21 pretty soon. Your experience bar really close to level 21. Uh, when you hit 21, you unlock specializations, which is a way to kind of fine-tune your character. And I, I'll go over those when we hit that, mm, that which okay. we probably will this episode. Hopefully. Oh, maybe. Hopefully we will. Uh, pretty awesome. So thank you, Aphonic, uh, for the comment there. It was a lot of fun. Also a lot of fun to play with you on uh, Sunday. We played some uh, Guild Wars uh, 2 with everyone. It was a lot of fun to get together and hang out and play some play some Guild Wars. It was a lot of fun. Seen you around in a long um, time. Yeah. I'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> There's only three ways to find out. <laughs> uh, also a comment from Michael Coffey saying, This has been our favorite series on the channel, Arlos. Uh, that, and though you two do not view them as much as uh, we who enjoy would like uh, the episode. It is fun, zany, and madcap fun. Uh, best wishes to you both. Yeah, we have a lot of fun making these videos. <laughs> zany. <laughs> I have a lot I of like fun that. making them, and I'm really glad that you, uh, you and the wife, are, are enjoying these, these series. It's fun. Yeah. It's really fun to play something with you. Uh, I'm glad awesome. that you guys like it. Uh, and yeah, we're we're planning on doing this this series uh, on Mondays, but again, it all depends on you know my schedule and, and Vanessa's schedule here, so we can actually like mesh them together to get some recording done. <laughs> well, I mean, this will be our third in a row, I guess. Yeah, we're doing yeah, pretty we're, good. We're, something like that. Yeah, we're we're doing pretty good so far. Ooh, I love the colors in. Beautiful. Like Beautiful. I match, I match the flowers <laughs> really nicely. Right it is, oh, can you it do is like? Good. Can you take a photo in the game, like in Horizon Zero Dawn? Uh, oh, they don't have a photo mode now. Oh. I mean, you take a screenshot. How do you take a screenshot? I honestly have no idea. Okay. Uh, if anybody knows how to take a uh, screenshot... Oh, your, see, Nick knows uh, how to do this. Go to your menu for a minute. Okay, how do I... I don't know the hotkey. Just escape. Your menu. And, uh... This option... Mm -hmm. Roller options. Anything say... Is there interface? Maybe. No. Camera. No. Yeah. Oh. Screenshot. Print screen. F6. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, guys. Let me just. Uh... Oh, you changed I my went... composition. Ah, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got this. You can you can make it perfect. You can. I want this person to run. And then I'm sure there's a way to get rid of the UI, like all the screen stuff too. That's okay. I can just kind of position it. There we go. Cool. Uh, neat. Yay. Really neat. Okay. Uh, so let's go. Oh, oh, is there any more comp? Oh, no, no, oh, that's okay. what we have for this episode. So let's uh, continue on here. Yeah. I trust you. See what she has to say. These others. That's well, not, oh, we here's our buddy. See. What? What do you know? No, I did. Good time. That will get. There we go. Oh. Put me up. Oh. Click. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about this. I trust you, but not your friends. My name's Charia. Oh, Charia, yeah. <laughs> Charia, Charia, Charia. <laughs> I spelt it as phonetically as I could. And... Well, if anyone's seen me play any of the games, I'm so bad at pronouncing all the things. That's, I know, but it's me. It's me. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, they just want to help you, Malik. Yeah, I am worried for this dude. Like, I'm really worried about him. Something's up. The nightmare court is searching everywhere for this harbinger. They won't stop until they find it. Whatever it is, we must find it first. Look, 
He did. Drop first. <laughs> Kate, Trahan, I have a very strange story to tell you. This is Malik. The Nightmare Court believe he is the harbinger of what we don't know. But they attacked those warden camps to find him. Malik is your name? You feel oddly quiet, strangely still. When did you awaken of the pale tree? In what cycle? What did you dream? Tree? I know no pale tree. I have had no dream. My first memory begins two weeks ago. I was lying by a river, staring up at an arched bridge. I was injured, and I wandered the forest from there, following the river until the wardens found me and took me in. No dream? Perhaps you've only forgotten it. If you were badly injured, your memories could be damaged or lost. Perhaps if we look into the dream itself, we could find them. Or we could follow the river and locate the place Malik describes. Maybe we'll meet someone who knows him and memory will return on its own. I must know who I am to fight the Nightmare Court. Valiant, I trust you. Which do you think is the best method to find the truth? Oh, dang. Ooh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> you decide the course of action looks like either go down the river or go into the dream. I mean... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you did this story. Can I ask you what you did, or you want me to pick first and then I'll you'll let, tell I'll me let what you, you did? Okay. I'll let you okay, decide okay. on your own. I mean, I feel really kind of nervous about him having no memory of anything. This amnesia is making me really. I don't know why. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> don't be suspicious. <laughs> 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 but no, for real though, this this like guy has no memory of the, anything, so I don't know, maybe he was like, again, a clone or just created out of, the, maybe the Nightmare Court created him out of maybe. nothing? Like, I don't know. So I feel like going to where he says he came from might be the better place, because he has no memory of the dream at all. But so if you go into the dream, you're going into the that first starting area we were, of that big dragon. Going into, How do like, you know that? Into where you're being born, because that's where the dream is. You were in the dream. But there's another, like, multiple... They just said there's cycles and... I guess. Well, yeah. See, cycles. Well, let's talk to Kate. Let's see. Oh. You can if talk you talk to, to them, they'll, they'll give you a little dialogue. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, so both... Oh, you talk to him. I have to talk to Kate. I am talking to Kate. Oh. No, no. Whoopsie. All right. <laughs> Bad mouth. Sorry. Get closer. <laughs> Sometimes it can be pretty Right good. up into their personal space. <laughs> we don't have to be six feet apart. There we go. Right there. Uh -oh. There uh, we go. So very, very well, very well, Charia. Uh, have you made your decision? Okay. You oh, I, uh, would you explain your plan again? Because there was no explanation. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> uh, we start where Malik was found and then backtrack from there. Hopefully it reveals his origin. How certain are you that we'll find something? Uh, nothing is certain, Valiant. Remember, if you choose to go with me, you cannot change your mind. Okay, so hit the X button instead. Okay, okay. And then talk with Traherne, and he'll explain what he wants to do with it. And right up in his business. <laughs> It'll actually help. Okay, so Kate and I uh, wish to only to aid Malik. Uh, you must decide the plan, which plan is best. Can you give me more details about your plan? Seer, uh, Arndia, uh, is deeply connected to the dream. If any Silvari has information about Malik, she will find it. Right into. Okay, so again, this doesn't really tell me that we're going to go to the same starting area that oh, we no, were in. Oh no, 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 just that same, the same kind of like world. Yeah, the dream. I yeah. know, but I, I. No, it probably won't be the same area. No, I don't you. think it will be. That sounds like you. that's where you want me to go, but I think we'll have lots of opportunities to go into the dream as uh, we go along our journey here. We'll see. So, what, you don't think we'll ever go to the dream again? We'll see. You think this is our only chance to go to the dream? Okay, wait, hang on. Can we bring up my hero panel again so I can read my life? Oh, it, does, it doesn't say. that. Um, that's all no, story no. stuff. I know, I'm just I can either confirm or deny because I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, where life goes so to... Good you. 
That's just that's just the option. I know. I'm just trying to use it to inspire me for my decision. <laughs> well, this is the first of very very many decisions. Okay. Well, I very, very I don't many. know. I don't I don't want to I I I want to go. I don't want to go in the dream. Okay. I trust. Yeah. You Kate. made your decision, so it's she's fine. always been like my homegirl. Like she. Very, yeah. Let's trust in Kate. Yeah. I mean, it's not that I don't trust the other guy, but she's like our uh, BFF, so. Kate would never steer us wrong. No. Ever. Never. Never. Ever. While the three of you search for the site of Malik's first memory, I will speak with my friend. Oh, and he's going to do his thing. Yeah, See, there you go. Oh, exactly. All, and all it is time. is based on what you. I need. will meet you back at the Pale Tree. Be safe, my sister. Okay, and now you get to you get to uh, pick an option here, so you can get a defender staff, which is not as good as what I have. Uh, currently better, but it's because it's two-handed than one-handed. Uh, uh, but that's that one. Revenger Ooh. staff. Uh, which that one, and you, if you believe if you right click, you can preview them to see what they look like. Oh, it's got like a little kind of Fabergé egg. And the previews, you can go wielded and weapon only too. It looks like when you're out, uh -huh. you do mm -hmm. weapon only, that's just what the weapon looks like. <laughs> I kind of like seeing it being wielded because we see it floating <laughs> in space. It doesn't really give you any context to the size Yeah, of some it. weapons it's easier to see them if they're uh, weapon only. Uh, oh, oh, you picked oops. that one. No! <laughs> you picked the oh, right one. Oh, that's okay. It's, 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 Lesson learned. You'll have more than enough chances. And I think the other one's actually a Savari uh, skin, so it should be okay. Oh! Ooh, so this is where we get six hero points, um, and then scroll up risk specializations for a second. Click for more information. So specializations are now unlocked. You can now spend hero points in the training tab on specialization. Once you begin training a specialization, you can set your active specialization uh, in the build uh, tab of the hero panel. Traits. Uh, traits are now unlocked, so spending hero points in specializations earns you traits. Once unlocked, you can collect them from the build tab of your specialization. Ooh, kind of like in Sims. You, kinda? Yes, yeah, that's what you do in Sims. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll show you. Okay, hit accept here. And go to your hero panel. Oh, uh, another couple levels. Yay. <laughs> and level 30, 30 will be the next. Okay. At 31, you get a leak skin. That's your. Um, Ooh, damage. my last little um, yeah. box. Yeah. Okay. Um, so go to your hero panel with H. And, uh, all right, so you get specialization. So now we're on to the, this track. So click on one of them for now. Uh, and essentially. Each trait here gives you little bonuses. So, uh, so I'm not sure exactly what all of them do because again, I haven't built a mesmer myself. Um, so I'll have to kind of read a little bit because if you click on the build tab, that one it goes here. I don't even I think I have to learn them. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I can. Oh, click on this for a second. Uh, oh, see, oh. try clicking on one of those. Okay, so it does take you right here. So you have to actually uh, select one. So um, let's take a look at the first part of each of these. So that one, first one is with vulnerability when you interrupt a foe. Okay, let's uh, just go to the next one for the dueling. Oh, oh you're all. I see. What does this one do? Gain bigger when delivering a critical hit. Okay. One, gain regeneration. When struck when below the health threshold. So if you're below 75% health, you get regeneration. This one gives you remove conditions from you and nearby allies. Illusion. Uh, shatter skill 2 inflicts more stacks to confusion for increased duration. That's one of the, when you use one of these abilities, yeah. it does it. Yeah, and I learned what stacks are. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have to pick one. And we then to, we elite, to... elite specializations are the same kind of idea, only um, you you kind of get a new weapon and stuff. Like Chronomancers get a shield, mm -hmm. and Barrage gets something else too. This is great sword skills. Okay, so this is a great sword one. Mission through. Yeah, I don't know that. I don't know that. This one's about attack vulnerability. Yeah, chaos might. You get if you get uh, regen being below chaos you get damage and foes with lower health percentage than you. Yeah, this is this one's all about doing damage mm -hmm. and quickness. 
heavy, deal more damage, but back of ability on your target. Vicious expression, you and your illusions deal increased damage to foes without wounds. Magic anguish, damage. So I think this is like tank. Uh, DPS. Dueling, do you think this is like for PvP? Oh, I don't think so. It, it's just it's just kind of an easy call. Uh, oh, gain stealth. Ooh, okay. Yeah, stealth and oh, fury. fury. Fantasm fury. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, oh, is that your clones? I think no. that's what my clones are called. Okay. Ooh, pistol attacks from you oh. and your illusions have a chance to cause you to So that's oh, this is your pistol one. So each of them usually have like a weapon associated with it. Sharper images. So yeah, your illusions yeah. reading and stuff. Okay. Blindness. Basic mirror. Sensors for this. Stacking. Master Fencer. Very complex. <laughs> I, like, I like the name of that one. <laughs> uh, so an interrupting foe. Fine. Okay. Evasion. So far, this one sounds more interesting, but let's check out that case. So this one gives you the regeneration. Regen, yeah. Yeah. But you don't need you don't need pistols at all. You said you didn't like these That's pistols. That's very true. Yeah. But the thing is, the last half of dueling seems to be based with swords. The Spencer's finesse attack. Uh, but it, it, it'll actually specifically tell you if it's a weapon or not. Oh, so it is specifically yes. so sword and spear. Yes, one that's what I said. So this class... one's designed for mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. sword and pistol. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. Even though some of them are, are gun related, there's yeah. some that are sword. So just yeah. maybe. I miss um, a sword part. Yeah, and then for this one, okay, wait, where did we leave off? So, um... Create a magical storm, the target location. Okay, cast lesser storm when you use a healing skill. So whenever you use a healing skill, you do this. Okay. Finds a random thing, okay. Gain okay, stacking damage whenever you... Stacking damage reduction whenever you summon an illusion. Okay, gain recharge reduction. Grant super speed to yourself and allies. Oh! Okay. Super speed or like gain protection when you gain regeneration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you blow stop below the threshold, you gain regeneration and you get protection. Okay. Yeah. You're right, this one might be more my game style, is that what you're saying? It, yeah, because this is a little bit more to keep you alive. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. Hurts damaging up in the boons. Gain so, condition damage based on your toughness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chaos armor grants protection. Staff and trident skills gain reduced repress because that's what's right. Okay. Ongoing boon conditions, duration increased for every boon mm -hmm. on you. So the more boons you have, the more duration you have. Oh, it kind of looks like Jack Skellington. Yeah, it kind of does, if you turn it the other way, yeah. yeah. I like it. I like that. You interrupt the foe recharge. One of your equipped weapons kills at random. Because that's kind of chaos. Uh, increased self duration from your Mesmer skills. Okay. And... I believe we use a Shatter skill. Sure. Those are your, those will be your Oh, your, your F1, these ones? Uh, F1, F2, F2. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's a shadow right in the <laughs> <top>. <laughs> Don't worry, it took me forever. To <laughs> Even if you go, if you mouse over this for a second, so that's a, that's a mantra, and you mouse over these ones, those are clone. Oh. So they all have a different, like, keyword. Uh, yeah. learning, learning. So when you so notice something. Here's the better question, I guess, because we could continue on, but can, when I associate, or when I apply my points and I've gone away a ways through here and I decide I don't want to continue, can you, you, you respect can't reset your No. Points. That's you the can't. thing is you can't reset your No points. respecking? So you'll you'll by the end of the game you'll be able to fill them all out. Oh, okay. It's just at the beginning it's more of an important choice because you're trying mm -hmm. to decide which one's first. Lesser okay. power cleanse. So inspiration seems like a uh, great dome around you and reflect projectiles. Okay, that's More not defensive. bad. Heals out. Oh, mm. when you prepare a mantra, you heal people around you. Yeah, more heal based. Phantasms. Take your conditions, conditions when you are up. Summon. Yeah. I don't know what that word is. Uh, ages. No, ages. What's so it blocks your. It tells you what the ages does, so it blocks your next incoming attack. Okay. So this is for a focus weapon. So focus is a type of weapon. Oh. 
heal yourself and lose conditions when you use a shatter skill. So every time you use a shatter skill, you heal yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Phantasm spawn with Aegis, so it's Phantasm spawn, and they're able to block the next thing. It's not bad either. Healing yourself, your allies are also healed. Okay. This one has a lot more healing. Mm hmm. More defensive. Mental defense. Lesser phantasmal defender on your attacker when you, you block their rate attack. If you block the attack, you on attack. An illusion heals all allies around you. And signets have improved effects. Okay, so it's for using. Okay. And illusions! Vanessa, illusions! <laughs> <laughs> okay, shatter skills, something about shatter skills. Uh, sh uh more shatter, shatter skills. Skill. Skill. A, it transfers its boom to you, reduces recharge on torch skills. Okay, so this weapon is torch. Yeah. It's pretty. Creating an illusion increases your outgoing damage and. Gives increased condition damage for a short duration. Hey, Bartis. Oh, it's a clone when you gain health. Cool. Phantasm spawn with quickness. More shatter skill stuff. Okay. The attaining recharge reduction. Oh, shatter skills. This one's all about using your your scatters, your shatter skills. And which ones are the shatter skills? Those are these ones again. Uh, the F1, F2. Ah! Well, oh, then came okay, out so for one of these guys. Let's get your mirror. Some two clones. So they're I, called clones. See, I'm still confused between clones what's and illusions and phantasm. And what's a ah? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, so that's a phantasm. What's what's that? Clone. That's clone. Okay. Um. Okay. Scroll or click the arrow on one of those. They not the same. Okay, so clone, clone, phantasm, clone, clone, phantasm. That's yeah, because I think clones only um have a limited time, and these ones probably they seem like they're out. Maybe they're out longer. I don't know. Like, they do more. And then what's the uh, the two fa that's a phantasm. phantasm? So there's those are two phantasms. Okay. Yeah, I've I'm just okay. trying hmm. to figure that all out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still learning the mesmer skills. Well, I don't think I want to do domination, okay. and I. What's the healing one? Yeah, that's. Is this this one? The yep. healing one? Yeah, and I don't think in. So it kind of comes down to dueling, which I didn't think I'd like, but kind of sounded cool. And uh, yeah. you like. What? No, that's what you like. I like it. Well, I like totally. illusion. Whichever well, one you, oh, do you like We can do illusions yeah. instead. Whichever okay. one you want to do. Well, so here's the question I have. I've sixed. Can I just put them the rest in here first? The best is to, at this point is to do a specialization because then you start getting those buffs right away. Shoot. Okay. Okay, I guess better question is out of the specializations, can I kind of do two simultaneously? Um. So the way it works is you have three specialization slots. Mm -hmm. Essentially... Um, I can't remember what level the third one but every couple levels if you go to your build menu for a second so this one oh, that three, one's yeah. unlocked no 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 that's your oh. templates um so this one your first one you mm -hmm. have unlocked and your second one i think if you mouse over it it'll tell you 45? level 45 i think 71 okay yeah, 71. so i get three okay so that's nice to know that if i do commit to for example say chaos and i'm like eh, then i do get something else i can unlock yeah. at 45 okay so, I mean, this is... And then is... really what we can do someday, too, is uh, maybe put the guild on a, on a weekend on a Sunday. Like, we can go through and then uh, get a whole bunch of hero points for you to see hero points, depending on whatever you want. Okay. That way you can get, like, maybe two or three of them filled out. So you think yeah. I shouldn't pick now, then? Oh, no, I'd say totally you should pick oh, now. Oh, I should pick yeah. now? Okay. I know they kind of throw um, the decision, especially if you, yeah, if wasn't you don't know. Yeah, I was expecting this. They kind of just throw it at you. You did. Yeah. Without um, really expect. I wish. I really wish they. Um, if you went over like Dominion and dueling, it would tell you kind of like a. An idea of what. That should like what kind of build that's looking towards. I wish they did something like that. Because mm -hmm, but... I'm like going and not really. Okay. Well, I know I don't want inspiration or domination mm -hmm. and you seem to like chaos because you said this one is very just more defensive mm -hmm. no, I like, i'm a tank player at heart that's yeah, why i like that's defensive not stuff. my <laughs> that's not really well, my do, thing you do whatever you like, and yeah. 
I really want, the whole reason I picked a mesmer was for clones and, and I, the illusions, the illusions like one it seems to be my thing and then that's for sure something that I knew I wanted to mess with clones and stuff and then after I've done that I can really kind of decide between dueling and chaos then let's uh, let's do let's do the inspiration then okay or so illusion sorry do I have to do them in any order uh, they have to go uh, Counter counterclockwise or sorry no clockwise. that's clockwise yeah, right that's clockwise, wait hang on yeah. one two, yeah <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. It's been a while since I've read an analog clock. For it's got a lot of practice lately, and it's... Wait, wait, I remember I have to click it. And we'll return the next one. Yeah, I got a specialization. Yay! You won't have enough for more. Alright, so this is really one of the, what I really wanted to show you, too. So if you go to your... So you unlock two. You don't have enough points to unlock anything else. That's okay. Uh, go to your build tab again. And then click on that and select it now. It'll be lit up. Flop. All right. So the way this works it looks even more confusing, right? Um, no. It's telling me to put something here. Yeah. So essentially, the way it works is you unlock these. Ah. Oh, every four skills essentially are mm -hmm. a skill that you always get, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you have to pick between one of these three. Mm -hmm. So okay. you only have the one, so you click on it. You know, make a line go. And then you see the line travels to the. It looks more like one. a breeze. Yeah, like a breeze. Yes. Like the ley lines of the world. So you don't have that one unlocked yet, so you don't get that bonus. I'm just, I just. Okay, oh, compounding fever power. No, why yeah. do I have to read fever for? I don't, I don't know what that was about. Well, wow. creating an illusion increases your outgoing damage and gives increased condition damage for a short yeah. duration. But, but now you turn, currently have the first two. Yeah, I have mind rack. Shatter. Destroy all your clones damaging nearby foes. The shatter effect also occurs at your location. Cry pain. Shatter skill 2 inflicts more stacks of confusion for an increased duration. Okay. Yeah, so if you use your okay. skill 2, and I think um, the, other, the other one you have is for skill 1. Uh, yeah, yes. Shatter skill 1 becomes an yes. ammo skill. Oh, so it's an oh. ammo skill now. Essentially means you can use it twice. Oh, um, that's what that little 2 is? Yeah, destroy other clones. Yeah. Okay. That's what that means, is you can use it twice. Twice in a row? Yeah. Pew, pew. And like then it takes uh, sequentially? 12 seconds to recharge. So if you use it once, you can still use it again, but it takes, as soon as you use it once, it takes 12 seconds to recharge. Okay. Cool. Yay, specializations. We're learning. Oh, you can hit the X. Oh, I did that already? Yay. And if you awesome. guys, again, have any suggestions for gold and stuff like that, please let us know. And yeah, we're both learning the Mesmer. I don't know the Mesmer very well. <laughs> But uh, yeah, okay, so we can exit this now. All of that. Here? Yeah. <laughs> now we have to go to wherever we're going to go. Uh, travel to the Berlin Vale. Benlin? Benlin Vale? Is that it says? It's hard for me to read. Far away from me, where I'm currently sitting. Oh, oh yeah. It's way over there. Oh, dang. I don't have any waypoints near there. Just the one. It's kind of grayed out. Yeah. Oh, I did get that one. Yeah, yeah. It's just whenever you go to a new area, you usually get the first wave. And for one, that's like Living World Season 3 where I'm at, and it was really annoying because I stopped an episode as soon as I went there and didn't get a waypoint, so I had to like go there with another character to get an item that I could give to that first character so they could teleport there. There's no way to get into that map from outside of it. Really dumb. I did not like that. I'm, Did not like I'm gonna pretend I know. <laughs> I don't understand any of these. That's cool. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna get to. Where are you going? Ancient. Oh, there's a vista right there. Ah. A juvenile fen. Oh. If you had a ranger, you could grab that too. Can I pet it? Not pet the puppy. on the map that it says I can pick. It's close to you. Yeah. Up there. There you go. There's some onions. Oh, jeez. The onions are always fighting, like... They just look like grass. That's funny. Yeah. Yay! Two onions! Right. Okay. I go? Uh, over there. The green circle is. This? Yeah. 
So, so of... I mean, I guess I should go do yeah, this way, way eh? probably. Rollins. Fireflies. Sorry, Kutumbo. Yeah, so hard Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still here. Oh, they have the staff I wanted. And rub it in game. Okay, I think I just followed these lampposts. Look this trail mark. Ooh, there's a... Ah! You'll jail laser access gate down. No. I'm just you gotta just run back. I'm on a mission right now. I'm a more important mission. Sorry. This has been a while. I like, I like this map. And then, uh, so you're coming up on uh, this kind of bridge thing. It looks like it's floating. Oh. That's Asura. Asura Hi, technology. Hi. Hello, people. You're walking very calm. Yeah. I think I should walk now. I don't think you can walk. Uh, there is a walk button. I don't know if you it. I'm always at a full speed run. Very important. Very busy. This is what a sewer uh, architecture looks like. Robotic? Yes. Futuristic looking? Cool. Oh, there's a scope you can go. Oh, gotcha. Might as well. To the north, you can see Mount Nashington. There, the Skrit have made the most extraordinary community. They have creative pursuits and have begun to dabble in ranching. They even defend themselves against the very dark elements many of us have come here to fight. I can't help but feel that it's important to support such curious creatures. Hi. Hey, I don't think I've had heard any mention of Skrit until now. Skrit was um that one guy that was uh, at the very start that said hi to you. That was a Skrit. It's like a, they're like the rats. Yeah, they're like rats. Oh wait, and yes, I've seen script. Keep close oh my gosh, look ready. at how many plants are on the map. Yep. So crazy. Oh, the oh. right way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, what is that? It's an osprey. Is that a, like bird. a bird. The type of bird. Oh, it's like saying hi to my pet. Nice. Eagle. Osprey. <laughs> oh, trippy scares. And they got the, like, those, like, force field thing. Oh, should I get this heart real quick or no? Uh, no. Oh, what are these thingies? Those are Asura. Oh, hi, little people. The, the race and a phonic usually fights. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just not used to seeing them, I guess, in more regular clothing, because <laughs> uh, Aphonic normally wears really baller clothing. So. And not, like, running around, killing everything, yeah. <laughs> and being awesome. <laughs> Doing all the things for us. <laughs> Killing us where to go. Or growing extra big. You see him big a lot. He's That's true, gotta, yeah. Grow uh, mm hmm yep. Peacemaker, what? What? Yeah, peacemaker. That's their, like, that's their Brisbane Wildlands used to be a secure, secluded spot for some of our more experimental labs. Now the inquest have moved in and targeted Marat Baru's weapons research. We're working with the Wild Hunt and Sarah forces to protect our labs, but it's not sufficient. I'm deputizing you with two objectives. Assist whoa, the researchers of Aether whoa, whoa, whoa. Labs and <laughs> stop the inquest from disrupting Marat Baru. Okay, You're a deputy now. can I just pencil that on my to-do list, buddy? Um, so if you open up your map for a second, yep. uh, and you throw a zoom out, the... Oh, come on, scroll down. Okay. So, uh, that area there is the Asura starting area, and then mm. they start in Metricopalo. So essentially, you start beside them, and as you guys go up, this is next. Okay. Oh, so both we're... races kind of come to the same area for okay. the first time. That's why there's a Sarah here and Solari. They both come here in the same time. But they don't come from the pale tree. I don't know where no, they come. No, they come from underground. Uh, one of the elder dragons stirred and uh, they used to live under. 
Okay, well, I'll pens I know that I'm like part of their. Uh, there's a waypoint. Yeah. Right. Okay, I'll get I'll get right on that thing. Yeah, do that thing. You do. Hey, you got the waypoint, and your uh, your like story mission is right here. Yay, columns. Oh, those are the big robot thingies? Don't tell Nick I said that. <laughs> not to your right. Nope, not up there. Oh. Well, I was going to head to the part of the map that had all those skull and crossbones. Obviously. <laughs> Why That's wouldn't you clearly that? where I'm supposed to go, where the death area is. What are you? Like, I don't know who you are. Pink Moa. Ooh, a thingy! Um, is it onions? Oh, yeah, you're going. You gotta go. This side of the bridge. What's that green dot on the map behind me? Oh, that's my pet, right? That's your pet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to what? On bridge? What? Oh, you're on the other side of the bridge. Where you got distracted. You get distracted by those, like, big green Yeah! Things. No, the things on the map to pick for food. I'm always thinking about food. Just pick some stuff later. Ways. There you go. Did I get the heart first? Nope, nope. No, wait, again, no, you wait. have to do a bunch of stuff with the heart. You don't, right, right. You don't select a heart. You, yeah. This isn't World of Warcraft. You don't get a heart. <laughs> you just do things around. Gimme! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that hearts you have to do stuff for, yeah. and the telescopes you just get by talking to something. Yeah. And the vistas you get by just going there. And stuff. Well, but sometimes it's a jumping get to the thing. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I've been getting better with my jumping. It's already better than I am. Let's just talk to our homeboy, see how he's doing. Nervous? So, Kate is a strange conversationalist. He has so many questions and gives so few answers. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I was just gonna be like... <laughs> you're telling me. Uh, is this the bridge you remember? Yes. There's a path to the river. Follow me. I'll lead you as best I remember. Okay, I'll be right behind you. Oh, wait. Oh, we didn't get to talk to Kate. Okay, whatever. She wasn't going to tell us anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's great. What are they doing? I don't know. They're going the opposite direction to this. Uh... Hmm, okay. You just sit there. Let me... I'm going to get to talk to you. I trust Malik because you do. Oh. I don't think there's anything wrong here. Oh my god, now I have to second- I'm second guessing myself. What if he's leading into a trap? The What's Nightmare this? Court found the place before we did. How do you want to handle it? We kill them. Painfully. Kate, you and I are going to get along just fine. <laughs> uh... I don't- I don't know if it's, Okay, let's do it! Your death will be agonizing! Oh, you switched your weapons. Uh... I didn't see you switch that. No, I want my sword. Oh, you want your sword? Okay. told me to have my sword, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. You don't have you don't have a bonus to your sword. Huh? And your abilities are much closer. Right over here, right up beside them. Oh, I'm not close enough. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, you're not doing anything. You're just you're just filing a sword in front of them. Oh, <laughs> maybe I should. I thought I could attack far away with my sword. I can't. No, no so then I don't. Your great sword, you can. Are you ready? I'm invisible. Go. Swim down to the river. Mm. Okay. So these four courtiers are a bad sign. We must hurry, head up river until you see a cave. Uh, I'll take the lead, even though I suck at swimming. Wait, hang on. Wait, 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 think. Oh, she's just gonna sleep. Yeah, they usually. Do. Okay. Cool. I'm not great at swimming, so. Uh, wrong way. Oh, yeah. See, up river, guys. Uh, and these things are gonna attack you, but you're on the surface. You can attack back in. Go underwater. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, whoa, 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 hold on, let me get my bearing, whoa, okay, there we go, no, 
<laughs> yeah, it's kind of annoying you can't use any of your drugs when you're swimming on top of them. Well, I can see how it gives an unfair advantage to the gameplay, so it's fine. I just wish you could, like, kick them. Like, at least do some sort of melee attack, you know? Yeah. And, like, kick them in the face or something. That would be, like, realistic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, well... Let's use this ability to bounce. Oh, this is fine. Oh, yeah. this is still a scale, so... I'm gonna be hanging with these guys anyway. I'm fault fish. They're like, die fish, die fish salmon, die! Fish is now sushi! I know you like salmon. I love a wild fuck by salmon. It's probably my favorite. It used to be tuna, but we can get so much better salmon here in BC that I just. <laughs> here we are. You got DoorDash, <laughs> some sushi. I'm sure everyone can relate. I mean, like, honestly, these days, like, so much delivery happens. That's enough violence for now. Is it okay? Cake? Is it cake? I thought you were all about violence. Oh, oh, why, am, why am I attacking with music? On your guys. Violence? I'm just confused by the music. I mean. It's just out. Whoa! Chill out! My gosh. Oops. Go back under. The cursor. Yep. What? Oh, okay, good. We're gonna go back on land now. Next. Great. <laughs> uh, I, uh, why am I limping? Oh, oh my god! Deal! Recovery! Jeez. Yeah, so some some abilities you'll see like you're you're of a greenish tone. Uh, you're of a greenish tone. Mm -hmm. you know, so, okay, we'll go back up too far. Okay. Right. If, if you move while you're poisoned, it causes. Okay, no, 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 no. but if you move poisoned. into the red area, it can kick you out of the map before you start. Oh, I see. That's what we meant. That's enough violence for now. Keep heading down the river. I'm just gonna put my health for regen. Okay. Sorry, what what makes you sorry, it's torment? Well, um, see yeah, torment if you move all torment if uh, you take more damage. Sorry, what were you pointing Um at? so on the map there, mm -hmm. if you go to that red area it'll kick you out of it. You don't want to. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. go that way. The wrong way. My bad. <laughs> I've done that so many times. <laughs> I, get, so I got distracted because you're telling me about the torment and I was getting it confused with the poison because I'm like, <laughs> I thought it was poison that made you get worse when you walk, but it yep. was torment. That's right. I learned that from the Halloween yep. event. Too many times did I run when I should have not run and I died. <laughs> Ooh. There, it there it is. The pod in which I awakened. That's where my life began. Yep. Oh, oh. The, that's I'm... my pod. Hmm. Judging from your expression, I assume there's something wrong about it. Yes, everything is wrong about it. Oh, you're right. This is an Don't ambush. listen to her. It is magnificent. There he is. The Harbinger. Success. All that is left is to bring him before the Duchess Fowlin. You are one stubborn weed, lady. And you're doing a bang-up job of getting on my bad side. Who are you? And why do you want me? I am the Knight of Embers. I was born dreaming of you. And it has been my life's ambition to draw you into Nightmare. Why? Why do you want me so badly that you would waste lives just to capture me? Because you are the key to our freedom from Ventari's false laws. Your coming marks the turn of the tide between dream and nightmare. 
With your appearance, the truth grows ever closer. Come, the Grand Duchess awaits in the Benin Vale. <laughs> she can keep waiting. We destroyed your courtiers. You'll do no better. Defeat me if you can. You'll die. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, cool. Let's do this. Eliminate them and protect the pod. Yeah, butterfly. You shatter one of two skills to you have to think that. Yeah. Coward. The Knight of Embers is a fool. Whatever this nightmare is, it led her to obsession and madness. Is your dream the same? No. The dream is a vision of hope and a feeling of purpose. It guides us toward the light, not into evil. I wish I could say that I understood the difference, but I don't. So, Kaith, can you tell how this pod got so far from the Pale Tree? That is not the right question. Ask instead, how did this pod get so close to the Pale Tree? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I must speak with the Mother Tree. But first, we must be certain that the Knight of Embers does not report to Duchess Fowlin. If she studied this part, as I did. But what about Traherne? We were to meet him at the Pale Tree. We have no time for meetings or explanations. The Knight of Embers must be stopped. Then we head to Venlin Vale, and to battle. Let us end this Knight's threat once and for all. Oh, dang, okay. Yay! Okay, what do we get this time? Okay, let's go. Oh, you get some pants. pants! Pants! No condition damage. Where do you see the condition damage? Oh, no, 12. Defense. Yeah. It, they'll all be the same defense, so 37, but the condition mm -hmm. damage will be different. Damage, power, and. Nothing. What do you want? But my pants are not better than the pants I have. They are much better than the pants I have. Oh, green's better than blue. Green's better. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it's just, um, well, the best thing to look for is the defense. 37 to 22. They're all 37. Yeah, they'll all be the same. It's just the power condition damage. One will give you a little bit more defense. One will make you a little bit more when you attack them. You, they give condition damage. Like you give them poison or burning. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you think? Uh, probably toughness for now. Just, just for now. Get Luke. Let's put your pants on. Oh. Uh. And oh no, don't use that. Uh. Uh. Pants, just the pants. Uh, so equip them, then unequip them, or equip those again. And there'll be the right. Oh! Man, that changes the whole look though! No? <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll worry about that. We'll worry about that later. And then I just leave this? Yeah, that's a salvage kit. Oh. Um, basic salvage kit. So, what those do is you have an item you don't need anymore, don't want to use. You can use that, and it'll give you. You salvage it, so it destroys the item, and you get uh, heroes. Right. Okay. Alright, so let's exit this. Okay. Yeah. Back to the Brisbane Wildlands. And then, uh, Oh, we'll okay, be... no, wait, no, no, I like these pants, but they don't really go with the shirt. Oh, the pick our change a different shirt? Then you want to change what your shirt looks like right now? They're not even, like, pants. They're, like, um, what are those things cowboys wear? Chaps. Chaps? Yeah, because they're, like, hanging. Yeah, it's, like, um, that's, like, the, what the ladies wore in Aladdin and stuff. No, uh, belly dancers. no, yeah. is it? No, they didn't hang down like that on the sides. Well, did not they? in the Aladdin movie, no. Well, no, Wait. it's in the live action one. The dancers. Uh, did it. I meant. Oh, I wasn't even talking about Aladdin. I was talking like traditionally. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I, I was saying Aladdin. Agree, agree to disagree on that one, but traditionally probably. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to stop this episode. So next episode, we'll be taking uh, taking the fight to uh, the Night of Embers. So. 
Awesome. So yeah, if you guys uh, yeah, do that whole like if you see thing, uh, hit that. If you like what you see, uh, hit that uh, like and subscribe button. If you guys don't like to see, hit the dislike button too. But uh, yeah, let us know uh, down below uh, what you guys think. Really excited to hear from you guys. I know I love hearing the comments. You love it too. Also, if you guys have any builds and suggestions for uh, Vanessa here with her Mesmer, again, I'm just learning the Mesmer works, so I don't know the little nuances and stuff, but uh, we'll, we'll probably experiment. I'm going to go with illusions for sure. I don't sure. regret that decision. Yeah. So I guess the better question is if you are going to be a dedicated Mesmer that specializes in illusions, what goes with that? Yeah, like what is there certain weapons you should be using, uh, certain abilities you should be using, and then the next specialization, if next one be, or because uh, yeah, you eventually get to have three, three. specializations. Or, or maybe one that you think is the weakest combo, one yeah. that we stay away from. I'm fine with like reverse thinking of it too. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Mesmer and builds. And but you know, really, you're the one making those decisions. Yeah, I'll t well, and I'll I'll try to do some homework because I didn't know it was gonna get like. I guess I should have expected at level 20 this is when I was going to have to know more about the meat of the game, but I just, yeah, I, get, I didn't realize that that was... I what... know it's really out of date, but we do have the Guild Wars 2 Collector's Edition Oh, you're right, so you do have the guidebook. Sure... Maybe you should crack that open and dust it off. I'm sure everything's changed since then. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was when the game first came out. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do some, like, broad stroke to research, but, um... Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, thank you guys. Suggestions. Uh, yeah, so much for watching this episode. Uh, again, we're going to do our best to have one out uh, next week also, uh, but please forgive us if, if we don't. Uh, schedules can be kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we do uh, plan on playing every Sunday at about 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for a few hours. Uh, and if you want to see some more Guild Wars, I do have a couple series during the week, and then every Tuesday... Uh, I've tried to stream some Guild Wars 2 with a Norn Thief starting about 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And also Tuesdays and Thursdays. Got two series that come up. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, until next time. You safe this time. Keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>